Uh, hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, these are just eggs from one turkey that has been laid in just eight days. Our turkeys do not miss any day laying eggs. I've had uh, several farmers who are saying that uh, their turkeys are laying, uh, but they skip uh, some days. And sometimes uh, the egg, the quality of the eggs is not that good. Uh, the turkey eggs should be dotted, as you can see from this one, and they should be of good size. Uh, you should remember to provide uh, soft uh, material in your laying uh, nest uh, for your turkeys. For us, what we use is plantain uh, leaves, uh, which we find to actually work very well. As you can see, uh, we have uh, some good number of eggs, and this turkey is still actually uh, laying. And I will be showing you this turkey so that you can see it, and you will you, you will bear witness that it is not that big. Uh, that white is is the turkey that is currently laying the eggs. And you can see it is not that big. Our turkeys start laying eggs when they are not so old. And what do we feed? What is our secret that we do? We feed greens. Uh, today I want to pose a question to you. How often do you give uh, your turkeys uh, greens? If you're having your turkeys that are not in a free range system and you don't give them uh, greens and uh, avenues for them to be able to roost, uh, trust me, your turkeys are going not to do so well. So this is alfalfa. If you know alfalfa is high in crude protein, and this makes a very good uh, greens for your turkeys. And you can witness uh, from this because we have uh, recently prepared uh, laying areas uh, for our turkeys, and uh, you can see the result, uh, guys. And then we feed grain. Uh, this is corn. Uh, corn mixed with uh, soya uh, for protein and cotton seed cake for fat and other minerals. I will also add charcoal uh, to be able to prevent uh, to be able to prevent diseases like coccidiosis and also to be able to reduce the ammonia in the droppings of the turkeys. As you can see, we don't have uh, that much space, but we have turkeys that are thriving. And these turkeys guys love eating this kind of feed. Uh, what is also important is that uh, to be able to make sure that uh, your laying nest uh, has some kind of uh, dark environment, uh, we used that plywood to kind of block the light uh, to make sure that where the turkeys are laying from, a list is dark. Because turkeys live uh, laying in areas which are very dark. And in their natural state, actually, turkeys will hide while going to lay the egg. Uh, they will uh, not want anyone uh, to see where they are laying. Uh, that way, they will also be protecting uh, their eggs from predators. So that's what we are doing here with the turkeys. And uh, I believe uh, this other turkey, uh, that one is also of uh, reasonable size. I believe I've seen it with uh, the male uh, mating a couple of times. Uh, that's why I've also set up uh, these other two laying areas uh, for these turkeys to utilize. I believe within a one week or two, uh, this turkey will have laid about uh, 15 to 18 eggs. And then it should be able to start uh, incubating the eggs. Uh, for now, uh, we're having very good success uh, with the turkeys. And as you can see, guys, uh, these turkeys are looking uh, super healthy. It's because we are taking care of them uh, very well, which you should also uh, be doing in your homestead. Uh, yes, these are my lovely chickens. Uh, we also feed them uh, the same feed, and we also give them uh, the same uh, greens which we give to our turkeys. And guys, uh, I'm also having something interesting. Uh, recently, you have been seeing that uh, the chicken have been living with ducks. But uh, guys, uh, the ducks have one problem is that they spill the feed too much, uh, which makes the chicken to end up eating feeds from the ground, uh, like you can see. And if you look at uh, these uh, droppings, you see that they are kind of orangish, uh, which means that actually this chicken might have uh, coccidiosis. So that is uh, one reason why we have removed the ducks. Uh, from this area now the chicken are alone so the other thing that i have realized is that for a couple of days since we introduced the ducks in here 
I haven't been able to collect any eggs and uh, my hens have been laying a couple of eggs uh, in a week. So it means either the chickens have been stressed by the ducks because the ducks were chasing them all the time and then they have stopped uh, laying the eggs. Whenever your chickens are stressed, they will not be able to give you the eggs. Uh, that's what I had to do to ensure that uh, my chickens remain happy. So let me show you where I have migrated uh, the ducks. Uh, so guys, the ducks have been moved here, uh, just uh, neighboring our pigeons. So this is where we are going to have their permanent home. And uh, But uh, we just moved them here very quickly as we discovered uh, the issues that we have highlighted with the chicken. So we are just putting in uh, the bedding right now and uh, the type of bedding that we use, uh, these are coffee husks. Uh, this is a byproduct uh, when they are processing coffee and this is very common here. And it works uh, perfectly to soak the manure that is coming from the chicken and the ducks. So if uh, you haven't uh, uh, watched uh, the other videos, we recently added uh, three. Uh, the last uh, pair that you see, uh, the one which has the black markings, uh, those are Moscow ducks. Uh, the one in the middle there is the male. And uh, this one with the black markings. And uh, the other one with the black markings, those are the females. So guys, this is what I'm going to use to, uh, to kind of spread the bedding. So all I need to do is uh, just do like this and be able to spread this uh, bedding everywhere uh, so that you see that uh, manure has been just falling on the floor. I will be able to avoid the smelly duck house and uh, then uh, the ducks also will be healthy. So that's it guys, uh, as you can see we have uh, evenly distributed uh, the bedding, so this will be able to soak uh, the manure that is coming from the ducks, and then we hope that uh, these ducks now are here alone, and uh, the other thing that we realized with the chicken that uh, the ducks were actually eating all the food, so these guys are ever hungry, uh, that's one thing that we have realized, so coming here alone, uh, it's going to ensure that uh, they we give their our own portion of the feed and uh, uh, they get to see how to manage it. So guys, if you've watched the video this far, please consider subscribing to the channel. Uh, turn on the notification bell so that the next time you we upload the video, you are notified to come and watch. Otherwise, guys, uh, thanks for watching. Catch you in the next video.